Hello friends, Dr. Renee Tucker here. Just a quick uh, podcast today. I want to talk about horses that are ear shy, right? I don't know if you've ever had a horse like that. Uh, it's where you go to touch the horse's ear or even close to it and they try to kill you. Okay, okay, that's the extreme end. Some horses don't try to kill you, but give you the scowl face, or they move their head, or they kick, stomp. They just do not want their ear touched, messed with, pulled on, nothing. Sometimes it's both ears, but sometimes it's only one. Now, I've had a lot of people over the years go to see their horse for whatever other reason, and they'll just happen to say, oh, be careful, he's ear shy, so, you know, just just basically warning me to watch out because they're sensitive around the ears. Hey, and that's certainly helpful. And the thing is, though, that sometimes it's just been like that for so long that people think that's the horse's normal. But ear shy or even head shy, it's not normal. That's not a learned behavior and you can never get rid of it. And I, I realize that you may have tried quite a bit. But let me just tell you, most of the time, I'm telling you, 95% of the time, if a horse is ear shy, it's because their atlas is misaligned. So the atlas is the first bone in the neck, just behind the head. And that becomes misaligned through trauma. Or sometimes horses are eared as a foal, which just means that they were kind of held by the ear, unfortunately, to keep them still for some important procedure. Uh, I wish people didn't do that, but sometimes it is just something you got to do at the time. And then holding a uh, foal by the ear uh, makes the horse stand still because it hurts. So people feel there's this memory and recollection of this potentially, um, which would make the horse ear shy. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, 95% of the time it's the atlas is misaligned. And that could have happened when they were eared as a foal, or it could have happened any time after that. So the first thing you want to do if you have an ear shy or even head shy horse is check the atlas. So there's a link to the atlas video checkup that I have for you that you guys can do yourself. You can figure this out. Now, if your horse is so head shy that he won't even let you do the atlas checkup, that is a sign that the atlas is already misaligned so much so they don't even want you near them okay um in people when the atlas is misaligned studies have shown that people get headaches even migraines just from a misaligned atlas so the horse can be very head painful even above the pole painful anywhere at all okay so Ear shyness, 95% of the time, it's the atlas misalignment. Same with head shy, but with head shy, obviously, we're talking about a larger area. It can be on one side of the face again, or both sides. If you've checked the atlas, of course, you might consider that the occiput could be misaligned. The occiput's the, the skull part of the head, the back of the skull. And sometimes when the atlas is misaligned, the occiput, because it's right next to it, will also be misaligned. But very commonly, people may correct the atlas, typically with chiropractic, and it may or may not get the occiput. So I have run into cases where people correct this occiput, I'm sorry, people correct the atlas over and over again. And they're like, well, every time a horse gets a bit head shy, just get the chiropractor out again. He fixes his atlas again. You know horses. Well, really, the atlas should not go out over and over again. Once, maybe twice with the traditional chiropractic, it should stay there. And if it's not staying there, you have another primary problem pulling it out of alignment, which could very well be the occiput. Okay, so you got your atlas, you got your occiput. And again, with the head shy horse, you might want to consider vision issues. You may have already thought of that, but some horses, they're head shy because they're not seeing well. Particularly if your horse was never head shy and then they start becoming head shy. Check, you might want to have your veterinarian check that out. Because sometimes there can be issues that aren't visible to our eye to look at the horse's eye, but the veterinarian has to like dilate the eye and get a special tool and look inside the eye and see what's going on. So head shy, Ear shy is never normal, and it's always about 
finding the cause of the problem. So last little tidbits for the ear shy is you could have some traumatic stuff that has happened for whatever reason, trailer injury, you know, sometimes horses rear up and hit their heads on the top of the trailer. Ouch. That's a big ouch, right? Um, you could have traumatic ear cartilage damage. There are ligaments in the ear that, you know, obviously their horse's ear moves all over the place. And uh, there's ligaments that make it move around. Those could be damaged, okay? Those are completely fixable. Certainly, TBT, Tucker Biokinetic, can fix that perfectly. Uh, there are other ancillary alternative treatments. I'm thinking of red light therapy could help, acupuncture could help. If you can get the needles near the head, you could do needles on the uh, meridians around it, um, but acupuncture could help for these traumatically damaged ear ligaments or ear cartilage. Uh, mostly TBT, you know, that's my favorite, okay? Let's, let's face it. But it is fixable. It's always fixable, guys. It's just key is find the primary cause and fix that. All right, thanks for listening. I'll see you next time.